Okay, for all the courses that I'm teaching, you're going to need the following installations. And right now I'm just going to focus on all my classes that I'm teaching. You're going to need JDK 13. You're going to need Derby. That's going to be the database that I'm using. And it's going to be DBeaver. So you're going to need at least one of these things, okay? Um, depending on which class that you're in, you probably don't need all this stuff. But for now, so I can keep my video simple, the first step in this video, we're going to install JDK 13 because DBeaver needs JDK, Maven needs JDK, Eclipse needs JDK. So for right now, first thing is, let's get JDK out the way. I've given you a link here. You can Google how to download the JDK. And I've already downloaded to save time on the video. I will go to my downloads folder. And this is what I downloaded. I'm going to click here. I think I forgot to mention I am on Windows 10. So my environment, I'm going to say here, environment is Windows 10. And let's go back to here. I'll click on next. It's going to put in the standard program files directory. Usually it's a pretty quick install. And let's see here. Let's click on next step. I'm going to use Google Chrome as the default. I just like you. I just like Google Chrome the best. That's just my opinion. Next, I think it's finished. Okay. Yep, it's. Uh, let's see next step. Oh, this is the help sensor for JDK 13, so I think it's basically finished now. I'm going to close these windows because I've got a lot of windows up and running. Uh, close this window. Close this old session here. I'll go to CMD. I'll type in Java. Uh, so Java is not recognized. So if this happens on your machine, we need to set up the path to point to Java. So I will click here on Explorer. Mm, let's just make sure Java is there. I just don't trust anything unless I see it myself for the first time. Let's go to Program Files. Let's go to Java. Let's go to JDK 13. Let's go to Bin. And the Java directory is here. Let's go to CMD again. And I'm going to type in Java-version. And it is there. Notice here, because we're outside of the directory, if I do java-version, it does not work. Our goal is to make this work anywhere. The reason you want that to happen is other programs might need to reference it, so we need to make sure that Java can be executed from anywhere within your machine. So the next video, we will set up the path.